Good morning. Um, I'm not normally out in the garden or outside period this early, but today I'm getting out here because I really need to get some work done in the garden. And it's been raining so much that I haven't been able to get out here and do what I need to do. So um, I decided to come out here early because it's supposed to rain again this afternoon. I'm going to, I'm just prepping myself, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to get out there and get my cucumbers trained up the trellis that I sh shared the other day. I'll share it again, um, of course, sent for people who didn't see it. But I'm just getting myself prepped up. I'm in long pants, <laughs> leggings, <laughs> because mosquitoes. It's so wet and there's so many mosquitoes. Um, I keep these things on hand, but I don't really love to use it. Instead, I like to use essential oils. I'm just going to put dabs of peppermint oil. I like to use this and eucalyptus. I'm just going to dab it like almost like perfume and that'll keep the bugs away for the most part. So, they don't like these strong scents and things. So I'm just going to do a little bit, only a little bit. And then I know I'm going to get um, sore after this because I'm going to have my hands up over my overhead. So I am going to roll on some of this CBD freeze. This is from Black Line Vibes. Um, I have a video where I reviewed this before. Um, and I've been using it since. Like I get really tense up here and it works wonders so that's that you saw me earlier that was sunscreen i was putting on my arms and my face i protect, protect the cheeks y'all um all right and my sun hat i'm just gonna get my rain boots on so i can slosh through all the water that's over there you're gonna see in just a minute and then i'll be good to go I'll be ready to go Yeah, I'm checking my boots because you never know. <laughs> critters might be in there and I don't do critters very well. No for me. Ah, gee, there's a frog in my boot. <laughs> Listen, there's always something going on in the fourth house. Let me get my hubby so he can take care of that frog for me. Because I don't like the... Kick it. Wow. Don't kill it. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> okay, y'all see what I mean? <laughs> Never know what to expect out here. Maybe I'm thinking, listen, I like to keep these out here because this is pretty much the only place where I use them. But, oh Lord Jesus. Now I'm thinking that might not be the best idea. They can go back inside right on the inside of the door. That's what we're doing from now on. So, let me grab my water. Let's head on out into the garden and I'll show you what we're working with and get started. All right. So here is the wild kingdom that we're working with. This side is pretty okay. That's my okra. It's just, it's big. It's gonna be big. Um, and that is mostly my pepper and tomato bed. First things first, I have to move all these pots out of the way. It's super wet over there. And that's where I'm going to be working. You can see the trellis. I don't know if you can see it right up here. And here are my cucumbers that I need to train to go up the trellis. So that I can get the leaves up off the ground and all that good good. Those turnips over there probably need to come up too. But I'll evaluate that after I get the cucumbers done. That big baby climbing the fence over there, that is a moonflower. It blooms only at night or in the dark. Or like, you know, it might bloom this afternoon because there won't be much sunlight. And the flowers are white and they're pretty and they're huge. So, that's what I'm about to get started on. Here we go.
I'm making pretty good progress. Like, my goal is to have no leaves on the ground. So I do have these small ones here that I'm going to stake, kind of like that one there. But then I just want y'all to see this really quickly. This baby, this one, that's from that plant over there. Um, and it is kind of, I had it staked up to, you can see right there, coming up the fence and it is kind of intertwined itself. It was like way over here. So I've got to unravel that next and get it going up this same trellis. It may look like there's too much up here, but the cucumbers will grow downwards. Like you can see these babies are coming this way and it'll make it easy just to come in here and pick them. So, all right, let me get back at it. Try my very best not to disturb the good critters like that little lady right there. Try my very best. This one is a little tough because it's a long vine, but we're getting there. taking a while because I'm trying to be extra careful there are pollinators in here let's see if I can show you I just had one uh, pollinating hold on a flower so there's the bee swarming around in there pollinating things and I'm trying not to disturb my fruits because this big cucumber, I didn't realize it had gotten so long, but it was intertwined some with the moonflower, which is one of the reasons that I really needed to come out here and do this. Um, you can see there's a lot. Let me get out of, out of the way so you can see it. There's a lot of fruit on these, and I would never have been able to find them, to see them, um, had I not come out here and started messing around. Also, now I can see underneath the leaves, and you can see, I don't know if you can see this right here. I need to get rid of bugs um, and I just will come out here I'll put some gloves on and come squash them that part I'm okay with doing but frogs snakes that kind of stuff and luckily I don't have snakes but um, I can't do those so anyway that's why this one's taking a lot longer because I just didn't realize that it was so full maybe I need to take these turnips up and have a little bit more space I don't know Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and we'll just reevaluate after I get things done. It's another beneficial bug. And just like that, you know, I can actually see I would have missed those cucumbers down there and all these babies so this right here is all one plant you can see let's see there's the stem one plant and I had that cardboard out here which I'm gonna take up immediately after I get done with this because slugs could be underneath there and all kinds of things um god look at these turnips yeah, I'm gonna come out here and trim these. This moonflower, this part of the vine was wrapped around that cucumber. So this is why things like this are necessary. It's not because I'm anal, uh, I am that, but that's not the reason. Um, it's because I need to be able to get to these. I wanna eat my food. I don't, you know, I don't wanna miss it. I don't want to sit out here and ride. I don't want the animals to get it, the ducks mainly. Um, move lowly. No, no. Um, so, anyway, things are looking good. I'm happy to see pollinators out here actually doing their thing while I'm doing this. 
and I'm happy to see ladybugs and things um, that are naturally here. So anyway, also uh, seeing me take lots of water breaks, uh, lots and lots of water breaks. It's not super hot out here right now, but still, we gotta protect ourselves. We gotta stay hydrated. Mm. Yeah, and just stay safe. So, it's my break for now. Back at it. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna hyperlapse this part. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it um, on regular speed just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. It's not rocket science, like truly it's not, but you do kind of have to pay attention to where you're tying. So, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to tie to these crossbars because if I just tie to these side bars, the cucumbers would just kind of slide down. So, as you can see, this one right here is a little bit loose. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it to this side. I've already tied it above here and down here. I'm just gonna tie it to this too. Just so it says it doesn't stay. that be pollinating it's like I'm trying to eat <laughs> it's telling me lady move around I'm just trying to eat so let's see this one's really long I'm just gonna come up here I'm gonna keep it on the outside I'm just gonna come up here Y'all, I used to be so scared of bees. I am still. But I realize that in situations like this, the bee is just trying to pollinate my my uh, my flowers. So it's helping me out. So that bee is not worried about me. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to come into contact with it, but I'm not going to swat at it. I'm not going to do... I'm not too scared of it because I know that it's just trying to eat and pollinate things and help me out. There's another one that was intertwined. So all of this is just literally going bananas. All one plant. I'm also not too concerned about crossing things up because the plant will still grow and do just fine. What I'm worried about more so is um the roots being crowded out so here we go i'm tying to the cross branch instead of to the side branch and i can tie to the side branch too just to keep it sturdy but the cross branch is what's going to keep it up going upright all right y'all think this is the last one yep So, by the time these things, oh, this should be really good now. The bees can really get in there and do their thing. And by the time this thing finishes growing, I think I just broke a branch down in there. Let's see, where is it? No? These are kind of growing. They're not tall enough to be stakes, so I'm just gonna like tie them to this stake here. But anyway, I was saying that now the bees can easily get to the blooms and I can easily get to the fruit or more easily get to the fruit and hopefully not miss anything. And when these get long enough, I'll go ahead and oh, excuse me. Do not have allergies, I promise you. I'll go ahead and train those along the trellis as well. But that's already looking so much better. All right, y'all. So that is it for today. Um, the 
it already looks so much better everything is up off the ground you can see there's not much going on down in there see? but as before all those leaves were down here on the ground I'm gonna come in here and clean it out a little bit more um, but now I can see in there I can see everything and basically what will happen is I'll come out here and I can see what's going on. I can smooth the leaves around, check under the leaves for bugs. I can see a whole lot better to harvest. The only thing I will have to do is because this is three plants. There were four plants and one did not come up. But I will have to keep in mind that the ones, the plants on this side of the trellis, there's two, those are cooler cucumbers. They are smaller. So you, I harvest those when they are from four to six inches uh, long, no longer. They'll be bitter, I won't be able to eat them. But the one on this side, this one, this one here, is coming up this side. That is a straight eight. So it will be a little bit longer. That's the only thing I will have to remember when I'm coming out here to harvest. And then these that are attached to the stakes, as they get longer, they're not long enough for me to uh, trellis up. So as they get a little bit longer, I will trellis those as well. Now, I'm just gonna come over here and you know train this moonflower to go more this way so that it's out of the way. I love that it kind of gives me a living wall that um, is separation between the house, our house and the neighbor's house. But um, I'm gonna train that and that'll be it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these turnips because I was down in there and those look like they're ready to come up. We can eat nosh on those tonight. It's wing night, so. We grill in and those can go on the grill. So anyway, that is it for me in my garden. Um, and I'll show you what this looks like when it's all done. 